This is the first of our Raspberry Pi GPI programming in C videos um, where we're going to learn how to do robotics with a Raspberry Pi. In this video we're just going to be checking to see if we have the wiring Pi library um, installed and if we don't we're going to install it. We're also going to see how we can find out the pin layout on our Raspberry Pi which we're going to be using in later videos. If you're using Raspbian and Jesse or later, then you have already got um, Wiring Pi library already installed. And you can check that by doing GPIO-V to find out the version that you've got. And if you um, get something where it's recognised, then you can be confident that you've got Wiring Pi installed. What we're going to do next is see what happens when it's not installed, and then we're going to show how to install it. So what if you don't have Wiring Pi installed, what do you do then? Well, first of all, we can show that you don't have it. If you do GPIO-V um, and then you get this GPIO command not found, then that would be an instance um, where you don't have it installed. So then you're going to have to do it. And here are the commands that you're going to need to follow. So first of all, you need to go back to the, uh, the home directory. Um, so CD tilde does that. Then you need to install git core if you've not done it already. You might have done that. And if you've done that, that's fine. You can go straight to this line here. sudo apt, um, apt get update and sudo apt get, um, get upgrade. That can take a while. Just be patient. Then you need um, to clone um, you know, all the files from the, um, from the GitHub site. So we've got this line here. Then we're going to move into that um, into that um, directory we're going to um, pull in the origin of it. it might actually say at this point that you've done that already um, and then you're going to build it and that shouldn't really take too long and then once you've got to the end of that type in GP, um, gpio v and then you sh it should tell you that you've got the latest version with the information that i showed you previously Okay, so now that you've got um, GPIO um, installed um, on your system and you've got it verified, the next thing we can do is we can actually find out the addresses of the pins. So I'm going to do GPIO and then I'm going to do read all. And what that gives us, let me just make this a little bit bigger for us, what that gives us is the pin layout. Um, as it is with reference to our board. And we've got the wiring Pi um, access um, numbers, if you like, and the Broadcom ones. In the videos that I do later on, I'll mainly be using the Broadcom ones, and I'll, but I'll tell you how you can do it with the wiring Pi ones as well. Finally, here's a table of the pins with the corresponding Broadcom numbers, and, and here's a you know, an image of part of a Raspberry Pi board so that you can see how the pins connect to the numbers. And this would be the red light when the board's up, um, which is the power button, so that you can make sure you've got it the right way round. And on the left-hand side at the top is pin 1, and the right-hand side at the bottom is pin 40. And that's true on a Raspberry Pi 2 and a Raspberry Pi 3. And then we've got 3.3 volt pins, and we've got 5 volt pins, and the black ones are ground and um, we'll talk about these later on these ones can be really powerful useful things for us later on but we'll save that for later in the description below um, you'll find a list of all the commands that um, I've used in making this and you'll also find a link to the wiring Pi website where um, I'm getting quite a bit of the information from at least initially I hope you found this useful staying in field with Winfield